Um, so I want to go back to um, some of the stuff that I read about sort of the early days of the program. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that it was talking about in the evaluation that I read was um, the the students were working at mm -hmm. the Elman Institute and the Greater Chester Movement. Mm -hmm. um, and I was wondering if you could talk about, um, you know, the thoughts of the what the benefit of, you know, having them work at a place like these places mm -hmm. uh, were. Well, again, it was twofold. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm a Rotarian, and, 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 and the motto of Rotary is this, he profits most who serves best. And that's quite clear. In the process of giving, of serving, voila, lo and behold, you gain as much or more by the very fact that you've given. You see? And again, you know, the, the stuff that you learn yourself. I mean, working with people who have needs, uh, you know, gives you a wonderful opportunity to examine self, you know. And you know, the unexamined life isn't worth living, you know. And so just the fact that you're working with these people who are high need. Yeah, just for the sake of um, the recording, do you think you could explain what these places are? Okay, well, Elwood Institute is a, 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 a world-renowned uh, uh, institution for people who are developmentally delayed. Uh, and so when you're talking about high needs, these persons really have high need. And so uh, uh, our students out there working with them were in some cases doing some tutoring, you know, doing some counseling, but also too, uh, just helping uh, the, 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 the clients there negotiate uh, the Elwin Institute. Uh, sometimes, you know, just physically helping them to walk from one part of the institution to another. Do you see? Uh, at the Greater Chester Movement, uh, the Greater Chester Movement were all serving people who are low income with high needs. And so there were tutoring programs there, uh, work readiness programs and so again our students were working again in a it's almost like uh it was a, a harbinger of the bridge program only this time you know, we were working with uh young adults and sometimes not so young adults you know uh in the greater chester movement uh uh drug addiction alcohol addiction uh so our students had a real real opportunity to work with people who were high needs, but more than anything, as they worked with these persons with high needs, look what they were learning about themselves, you see? And by the way, the other piece was that uh, they also got paid minimum wage. And as you know, as a college student yourself, you know that a college student could always use a few bucks, you know? Right. Yeah, but the main thing was uh, to get out there and, 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 and to serve, and in the process of serving, learning from that experience. Yeah.